What up, MJ? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have another edition of Third Down Thursdays. It's been two weeks since you've seen these lovely faces. I'm sure you guys missed us. That's MJ. I'm Coach Bruce. TDT Media presents the flagship Third Down Thursdays. MJ, what's up, dog? Hello, sir. The Oakland A's won a baseball game today, and I was in attendance. It is a Christmas <clears throat> miracle. So apparently we we're, we're using the uh, the uh, stuff way too early now. So uh, just to say that I don't know, someone you hit the uh, hit the sound effects a uh, little oh, quick. Gosh, it's, it's pretty pretty trashy. Anyway, but but yeah, I, <laughs> it was. I I am shocked because I was there last night too, and they got their butts handed to them. Just out of curiosity, then, how much were tickets uh, for that game? Uh, so last night I sat in the bleacher, the right field bleachers, their seats, the right field seats with Paige. <laughs> bleachers. Well, I, I'm so used to in Chicago at both the stadiums, they're actually yeah. bleachers. I mean, technically, um, yeah, Globe Life is a new stadium. It's gorgeous, by the way. Um, but so I think the tickets last night were like 25 bucks a piece or something, and then wow. What is um, that the ones today were more expensive. They were like 50 something, maybe. Um, because we were like third base side section oh. 107 or something. Um Your but maybe let's get it. But it, it really it was not bad at all. Parking is only like 20, 30 bucks. Like it's you know, I'm used to Chicago where everything expensive. Let's so. see. I mean, that's nominal. I like because we have a guy that I uh whenever we go to Cubs games. Um, and you know, if anyone has ever been to a Cubs game, it's actually uh parking around by Wrigley Field because there really is no parking around Wrigley Field. Yes. Yeah, um, so, but there's a guy that's really cool that um, I haven't saved my phone. I can't remember his name, but it was something the parking guy. So I'll search my contacts, the parking guy, and uh, no joke, the guy he's probably like in like early to mid twenties. Lives by himself, just chills, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, anytime you need parking, just shoot me a text message." I'm like, "Are you, are you kidding me?" He's like, "No, no, no. all right, cool, man." So I'll text him because I think I found him through the the the, the parking app, the What's Up parking app. Yeah, I can't remember the name. I know you know what you're saying? talking like, about. Yeah. So and then he and then he's like, "Yeah, I have to pay a fee for it." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Oh, well, I'd rather just pay you straight up." And he's like, "Yeah, that'd be great." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll give you cash every time." And he's like. Dude, awesome. I ended up like I think the last time we went uh last year before uh we had we got the kiddo and uh I ended up paying him like 50 bucks because I because he only charged me like 20 bucks or something like that. I gave him 50 bucks and I think I got him a case here. And he's like, dude, you're the I man, bro. You're the man anytime. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta treat people if they're if yeah. they're gonna go out if they're gonna go out of their way to help you out and let them yeah. let you park in their spot while he found a spot, like because he's got the permit to park in the street. Um. Yeah, dude, he was great. He's a good dude. Anyway, sorry. I mean, it's 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 always super expensive for parking, but like thirty five yeah. sounds nominal though, like around that by the stadium though. No. Oh yeah, it, it it was not bad at all. Um, and I I think the nicest part is the food in the stadium is so good that normally that's like the crazy expensive part, but it was actually worth how expensive it was. What's the best? So, what's the best thing that they have on their menu? Because, like, I'm sure you like. I want to. I kind of want to get into this because uh, the only reason why is because the the product on the Chicago White Sox field is not as good as the product that's being sold uh, in the stands. So, so Globe Life is new, so they have a lot of cool places in there. Like, they have a Whataburger in mm. their stadium. Wahlberg's getting after it. Like a, a fully functional Whataburger. Um, there are multiple full That's size, like sit down place. barbecue restaurants. Yo, you um, had me at you had me at barbecue, my guy. You had me at barbecue. Yeah, so I had the most delicious brisket sandwich today. Uh, um, it's got shot and of they just give you like a giant cup of sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. <laughs> like it's already. Get that off my screen. You know, I don't want this. Get that off my screen. Alex, what's up, dog? Um, that, like, that just ruins my mood. Get that. I'm going to ban that <laughs> crap. Get that out of here. Um, I don't even know what I was saying anymore because I just. Uh, I'm, well, I'm well, of, you had the, br the brisket, the brisket sandwich. Yeah, dude. brisket was delicious. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Dude, I love brisket. So, all right. So, that being said, man, like, so where actually, 
I'll talk about the White Sox thing in a second because we didn't even get a chance to talk about uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about uh, the, the opening or uh, opening right. day or anything like that since we haven't been around. But 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 that being said, um, so this weekend we have our our daughter's one year one year birthday party. She turns one already, bro. That's crazy, dude. I'm saying, like, you're telling me. So she's already turning one. Uh, so that being said, we're prepping the house. We're getting things uh, ready to go. Um, man, it's so, it's a lot. I didn't realize how much stuff that we're doing. like. I'm not even kidding. We're expecting yeah. 50, we're expecting 55 people. Whoa! I know. <laughs> I know. You're <laughs> that's like a graduation party. <laughs> oh, like I just you know, <laughs> I, I'm like. I think I have like three chairs. We're good. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know where everyone's gonna sit, but whatever. Like, but the nice thing is, it's supposed to be, dude. Listen to this weather though. Uh, I, so her birthday, our, her birthday party is on Sunday, mm -hmm. and the weather is supposed to be sunny with a high of seventy-eight. Oh, that's kidding. fantastic! Are you kidding me, dude? Like, that's the best, like the best weather that you could ask for. Like, selfishly, okay. So, all right, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is the jackass part of me that's like, man, Sunday would be a great day to golf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I mean, it sounds right? so bad. It sounds so bad. But, like, no joke. I was like, I, I, I saw that, and I was like, man, it would be great to be golfing on that on Sunday. But, you know what? We're obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We're not going to pull that card because I'm sure there's going to be multiple uh, – you know, things, the last second stuff setting up for, you know, whatever. But, oh, good news. Good news, by the way. Actually, great news. Uh, this could be uh, a game changer, knock on wood, if everything ends up working out for it. All right. So next week, next week, we have a, I have a meeting with a rather large company for, not for us, but for like work. Right. work. However, like if this goes well, let me tell you something. We're going to have a little bit of a. Uh, money funneled into the tdt media team okay so let's just uh let's just put that out there right now let's just say you know what was put that fun out there we're gonna say we're gonna have you know we're gonna have a little bit of flow let's just say there we a little, go a little bit of flow a little bit of Can flow. I get a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah man so i can't wait let's see what happens uh i will definitely keep you all in the loop and let you know how it goes um, but yeah, I was supposed to go to Vegas too. That's another thing. I was supposed to go to Vegas this weekend, but it's obviously since it's, uh, my daughter's birthday, it's not going to be going out to Vegas anytime soon. Dang. Um, that's tough. Uh, I do have, uh, I do have one thing to, that's kind of funny. So our front, our, our TV up, upstairs in the front room has started to kind of get a little like, eh, started to get a little dog spots, right? Yeah. And I know you want to hear this. The only reason, so there's a, there's a, there's a method to this madness. So I just wait it out. Yeah. So obviously we're having the birthday party, whatever. I, I my, the wifey doesn't even know this yet, so I'm surprised. Like I'm, I'm gonna get yelled at, but it is what it is. <clears throat> All right. So I was like, you know, I kind of want to get a new TV. Like, can I? Like, can I just, <laughs> oh, okay. But hear me out. It wasn't. I didn't. I, I, like, I was like, I don't want to get a new TV. I can't. I'm not gonna go out of my way. I don't want to go get like the 75 inch, like top of the line, like QLED, like badass TV that I actually really, really wanted. It's yeah. something that's going to be nominal, be quick to. I mean, it's the front room. It's like, we, I, I'll be honest with you, I spend more time down here than I do. Right, in my front right, room right. Upstairs. So I was like, okay, we'll find something fairly nominal, whatever. She doesn't even know this yet. So if she's watching, love you. I'm sorry. So I bought a TV today. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what? so, but hear me out, hear me out. So this is my thought process behind it as well. The TV will be in the front room for the birthday party, obviously. It's going to be running yeah. all the time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The TV that's currently in there is now, since it's like has like a like a little dark spot on it, and it's nothing that's too in, like egregious to you know be like, oh, my God. So that's going to be moved. That's going to become the new garage TV. <laughs> and so that way, when, <laughs> when people are at my house for the birthday party, they're going to be sitting at the tables that I'm setting up in my garage and they're going to have the TV on ready to go while, you know, watching like uh, golf or whatever I have. Okay. So, it makes sense. So, okay. I, Cause the TV that's currently in my garage, like this is not, not even, I'm not even exaggerating. It was the TV that my, the very first flat screen TV, my mom and dad bought back in, um, geez, I think it was like 2000, like five when it was like the oh, first, wow. like, like not slim. It's like probably like that thick. That's what she said. Um, but 
dude, it's pretty. It's it, the poor thing's done. It's it's over with. So I was like, all right, we need to do something about this. Thankfully, I haven't gotten a text or I haven't seen anything from voice chat or voice chat from uh, in the in the chat talking crap to me. But um, <laughs> anyways, I'm looking forward to having all three TVs down here running, the TV over here running. And uh, yeah, you know, we we we're just uh, basically turning the, the house into a bar. Fifty five people, though. What the shit? That's a lot of people, my guy. That is a uh, lot of people. I'm, I don't I don't are I don't you, know. Are you prepared then, for that many people? I, I, I mean, because you gotta host fifty five people in your house. Sure, a few of these, I'll be, I'll be good to go, dog. Well, fair. I, I got it. Like, try, so need more than a few of those. So fair. Um, I got speakers. Like I got speaker, uh, or I have speakers in my garage for music because I have an amp set up and speakers. I don't even know if you knew that. Yeah. But um, I, I have all that stuff set up down in my garage, and then for out, out back. I'll have a I have an individual speaker that's ready to go to. It's it's pretty big and it gets fairly loud loud too. So that'll be ready to go for entertainment in the backyard. I'm gonna have bags set up, uh, just a multitude of different things like ready to go. We we have like little yard things because it's gonna be uh Mickey Mouse Clubhouse uh themed. So Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse baby. Oh yeah, man. I get that. That's what's going on. That's uh, nothing. You know, nothing too crazy. Nothing too intense. But uh. Man, I, I first birthday. Let me tell you, I, I if you would have told Time me, flies, that, brother, dude, I'm telling you, man, hell yeah, yeah, Sam, that's Time what I'm flies. talking about. Big doves because it's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside, it's fun inside. <laughs> I mean, ain't wrong with that. <laughs> Mickey knows what's up, brother. Let me tell you. Oh. But anyway, all right, man. So, but that's really what's going on with me. Like, I'm just, uh, man, dude. Like, we got some good stuff coming down the pipeline, I guess you could say. And uh, mm -hmm. we got some, uh, we got some good stuff coming. Wow, that's a really crappy shot. Oh, thanks, Alex. Appreciate you, dog. Oh, you want to? You um, that's a terrible shot. You want some? I mean, I, I do you know this? Did it come to my personal email or did it come to ours? Hold up. No, it came to mind. Um, we officially are approved for the 2024 NFL draft. Let's go. Big news, baby. Big Which news. means that the hosts of Beer versus Ivy, Cy and Jackson, and Jackson will be will attending be. the 2024 NFL draft. How sick PDT is that? Media. Dude, you're going to be seeing Caleb Williams be drafted number one to the Chicago Bears. Ja Jackson Jackson is going to lose his mind. Over does he, does to watch he, that. Jackson doesn't even know, does he? No, because I just I just said it. So you, you can text it? him right now. Oh, I'm sure, I'm let's sure go. Um, but yeah, so they, they just got approved. Um, and then, yeah, I, I am hyped. I found that out today um while i was at the game so sick. Well, i'm actually I mean, logging in to see right now um you know it never gets old getting accepted to uh, <laughs> and even better their radio row yo let's go oh crap so okay so i gotta get i'm gonna get the i gotta get the tdt media i gotta get the banner to yep. uh to, to jackson because we need to have that up Yep. Uh, so, wait, what's what's today? Today is so we have like two weeks. Two from, weeks. Yeah, two weeks from today. So what I might do is get the new logo or newer ish logo on on one and have him use that one. Um, yeah, MJ. Yeah, I need you to do me a favor. I need, all right. So we're having a, basically a meeting while we're doing this show. This that's fine. That's how we do things. That's my. That's our bad guys. But uh, so what we what we could do is uh, uh make sure uh send me a text message right now MJ or shoot me a an e actually shoot me an email that's probably better uh yeah. to remind me to uh look into a new the new banner so that way they can have it for Radio Row. Bet that's freaking awesome. We gotta look good, side. You better be rocking some sexy gear, bro. Anyways. Yeah, and so we, uh, no, as usual, um, since the first round is on Thursday. We will plan a nice old super show. Um, Freaking, that be, that's, that's know, our everybody. Fun. That's our elite show. Yes, everybody involved. Um, you know, we get guests on here. Last year, 
Didn't we have Trey on here last year? Trey Watson, Christian's brother. Didn't we? Yeah, do? we had, yeah, we had Trey on. We had Trey on. We had Trey. Um, so we'll we'll start getting those lined up. So I, I'm really excited for that. Um, you know, it's always fantastic when uh we got people in person for events. It's so much fun. Um, no, but I'm very excited to see. Better. I'm very excited to see Jackson and Cy take over Detroit. Um, I can't shoot. believe it. I can't wait to hear. I can't wait to see Jackson's response to. Uh, yeah. I wish I could see it. I kind of, you know what? I should. Talk, oh, should we FaceTime him live? That'd be hilarious. Is he working, Sai? Sai has no idea. We have no idea. I feel like he works Thursdays, but I don't really care. I'm going to, I'm going to FaceTime him. I'm going to, uh, wait, hold on. Uh, are we good? We, uh, we, we have the best, uh, we have, we about to have the best segment in uh, podcast history jumping on soon. Yeah, in a couple minutes, but we you can couple, try, just oh, try and right. face him. Just try and right. if he doesn't answer, we'll go to we'll go Let's to go. see Dave. All right, word, hold up. Connor's always ready. Connor stays ready. <laughs> Connor stays. I like that. That was good. He's hey Connor. What do we always say? Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's right. You think I see if Jackson? Oh, yo. What's up? All right, what are you doing? All right, so right now we're live on Third Down Thursdays, but uh, I figured I wanted to, I wanted to share this news with you face to face. You're going to the NFL draft, and you got Radio Row. Yeah, dog. Two years Let's in a go! row, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Very exciting. Can, you what? We'll talk. We'll talk logistics and stuff like that at uh, at some point. All right, but uh, I wanted to get the uh, I wanted to get the reaction before you got uh, the email or text message and all that. The ra- well, no, he he did. Well, he just heard about the uh, the radio road too. That's awesome, dude. Let's go. Congratulations, my guy. Let's get it. Uh, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Dude, honest to God, that's the best. Like that reaction was like one of the most like pure, wholesome reactions. That being said, you know what else is pure? The man, the myth, the legend yeah. himself, the best segment in podcast history. His name is Connor Davis, and that segment is the Davis Division. Let's bring him in. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. Come on can barely caught see that dub. beautiful faces. He, he caught that dub uh, in Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania, too. We got to talk a little WrestleMania. We should talk a little WrestleMania, too. Like, uh, very... Me and, Nate did, me and Nate did Tuesday, and I showed him the theme, the, the raw theme that I was on for five years. Yeah, that got us copyrighted, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have any music on there. I played nice. seconds yeah, of it. Yeah, it got it banned good. in, like, seven countries. That is video. wild. That is wild. <laughs> I was so careful. It's I was the WWE, so careful. brother. You don't mess with the WWE. Yeah, dude. It's WWE. WWE. Yeah, it's like the NFL, too. That's They're... my face. They have my face on their stuff. I own it. <laughs> Did you get paid for it? No. Then you got no rights you to it. You got nothing to it. Nope. <laughs> you got nothing. Oh, let's go. Let's go. No, but um, we, we actually – Agree. Filmed, I agree, Alex. We actually filmed a um a mat a wrestling match in my backyard Easter break. So oh no, you did that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was doing oh, like hurricane ranas, and I was freaking doing a uh, like frog splashes where I'd like do a roll on the ground, jump up and frog splash. No, cool. you didn't. Did you? Yes, seriously? I did. Yes, oh, I, did. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. And then uh, I did a bunch of stuff. Like I, I did a sweet chin music, hit somebody right in the neck. Did you do the? <laughs> did you do the leg? The like. You know yeah, my like, attire is kind of strange, like, but yeah, I did. I did. I'm not my IQ for it isn't as good as the people I was with, so you could definitely like tell my moves weren't as good as the other ones. But my selling was what I was like Shawn Michaels. My buddy the Shawn Michaels. The Shawn, you know, you know Shawn Michaels when Shawn Michaels was a part of that uh, WrestleMania. He the reason why like he was doing his sell so crazy was because uh, he was pissed off. Did you know that? No, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. But, I mean, he was like an octopus, and they kept calling me an octopus because I would just keep, you know, squirm around a little bit, you know, make, hey. make it look a little. Well, like at, least they were, at least they weren't calling you an octopusy. 
<laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh-huh. let's start off with the Time Davis out. division. Okay, so I have a a um uh, a couple a couple of things. I want to get it get it quick so we can get to the rest of the stuff on the show. So yes, sir. we'll start off with some basketball and with some NFL. I like it. Uh, th- this these first two I want to brief because this last one I want it to kind of I'll, I'll put it at the, as the video on YouTube like this is what's gonna go. So let's start in a blockbuster bl- trade this past off season. Drew Holiday was sent to the Celtics for Malcolm Brogdon, who was Sixth Man of the Year last season. Um, Robert Williams and two first round draft picks. Okay, so the Celtics think that they have finally found their piece to go ahead and have their championship run that they have failed to do these last several years. So currently, they are number one in the Eastern Conference right now with 13 and a half games, which is very, very good for them. Very, very good. And Holiday has now signed a four-year, $135 million deal with the team. So my question for you guys is, do you think – or is actually is Drew Holiday the missing piece so that the Celtics can go ahead and go on that championship run? I uh, MJ, if you don't mind, I'm gonna jump on this because I yeah. really like this. I, I actually really like this question. All right, so uh, Holiday does not get, in my opinion, doesn't get enough credit for his defense. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that out there right now. He is known for de- being a defensive player, but it's not first that pops into your mind right away to play defense. And I don't know. So you may. I saw you shaking your head, Connor. So you kind of agree with that, maybe. I don't know. Game but on the Pelicans. What What I do right that too. What I do like about this though, he was the replacement for Marcus. Replacement for Marcus Smart, but he's better. He's a better version of Marcus Smart because he's able to put up better numbers than Marcus Smart, and he's also be he's able to play a defense, and he's able to guard like the like a top tier point guard that like the other team, the other opponent like may have. I think it's great. Excuse me. I think, uh, yeah, no, I, I could totally see the Celtics uh, winning a championship this year. The, uh, the one thing, and I and and this is a very limited times I've watched the Boston Celtics play. I only watch them when they're on national TV or like TNT or whatever. I think they're on TNT tonight, actually. But um, I, I, just, I don't know. Like, I, I got to look it up. So please uh, uh, bear with me. But the times I have watched them, I haven't seen a, 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 a a paint presence defensively. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, that, Chris that Ops. one, I'm sorry. Chris Ops Porzingis. Porzingis. Yeah. And like, I don't, I, but I don't view Porzingis as a guy that to, to do that, but I could, I mean, again, I just think that like NBA, again. is he averaging two blocks again? Yeah. Okay. So like I said, the yeah. only times I've seen it, like when I was watching it, like I said, I, I, like I said, I've only seen him a few times on national TV. So, but, um, I, I wasn't able to pull up the stats like you just did right there. So, <laughs> but I, I will I, say, hey, hey, you're the one to who go back to the original. You're the one who changed to go, your setup. To go back, well, <laughs> I have to do my green. But uh, I again, so the, I will say at the end of the day, uh, to answer your question, I do think he's a missing piece for this team to win a championship. Uh, at the very least, make a run to the Eastern Conference Finals because I think the Bucks are. I don't know. I just don't. The Bucks look like crap. They just, they just at the Doc Rivers acquisition. I think hurt them more so than uh, than they thought that it would. And they had problems beforehand. And I think that um, it, it was exacerbated by them uh, firing Griffin and hiring uh, Doc Rivers. So it kind of opened the door for them to for the Boston Celtics to to go to take over the East. In my opinion. And so he- I I really like this trade for Boston. I liked it when I saw it. I like it now. I don't think inherently that Drew Holiday alone is the quote-unquote missing piece. I think that gives him a little bit too much credit um, for a lot of other things that have changed to Boston. Chris Ups Porzingis, in my opinion, should get more credit than Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday don't well, yeah, I, I is playing incredible that. Drew Holiday is playing incredible basketball. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in terms of his actual like offensive production, he's about the same as Marcus Smart on defense. Yes, he's absolutely more versatile. They play him in like kind of a safety role. They will play a zone type and then just put Drew Holiday in the middle at the top of the key and just say, stop the ball. Whoever's got the ball at the top of the key, switch on to whoever has the ball. 
Um, so he's incredibly versatile defensively. But what Kristaps Porzingis is doing this year at wow. seven feet tall, shooting almost, I believe, over 40% from three, scoring 20 points a game and almost two blocks a game, like that's almost just unheard of. So that's where I'm like, okay, Porzingis is an upgrade over Robert Williams. Drew Holiday's an upgrade over Marcus Smart. I think they just did a good job in the offseason, upgraded a couple positions, and then Jason Tatum has really taken off and become that true first option, opened up a lot of the things. And I think that team has just become much more well-rounded, where before it was just, okay, Tatum ISO, if he doesn't have it that day, Jalen Brown ISO. And I think they're playing much more as an incredibly well-rounded team. And Porzingis and Holiday just fit better into a overall team mold um, than kind of the ISO style they had before. Well said. I like that. I like that too. So thank you for keeping it brief. Let's go on to the next one. And um, this one's interesting because... It's a rarity for you, Connor. It's a rarity. <laughs> Let's keep... This is a hypothetical question now usually these are like hypothetical scenarios right but this is like the most hypothetical question i think i could ever ask on this segment ever and you'll figure out why yes so with an appearance on the deep cut podcast hosted by big blends none other than him i know y'all know who big blends is i I might need him to fix me up right now but i actually would like for him to just approach me and just be like hey let me give you a fresh cut okay cool so pause (laughs) <laughs> pause i need a fresh cut no you were saying he, you need him to approach you <laughs> time okay. out whatever <laughs> <laughs> so pause. on this podcast tom brady was asked about a potential return to football i think y'all There's probably seen no this way. so your boy mj God, so we old. we've seen you know we've seen even today tiger woods return to the masters Love and it. he kind of said, like, hey, I can do, like, a whole MJ moment where MJ came back to come to the Wizards in the NBA, right? He came back out of retirement, a break, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and then he that came back and played some more basketball. So Tom Brady's like, hey, I could be like Michael Jordan. But i am also got to prove to be one of the owners for the Raiders, and I have this Fox Sports broadcasting job coming up. So this probably won't happen. But I want to ask you guys I just for like, going down this. I can't believe you're going down this road. Just to have like a little bit of fun. If Tom Brady does return to the NFL, which teams do we see him on? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wait. Um, I don't know, man. All right. I'll let MJ g- gather his thoughts on this one again. Um, oh, they're gathered. <laughs> Okay. Well, Let, you wanna... Let's not get it twisted. All right. They are well gathered. All right. All right. You wanna? You do you go wanna? Ahead. Do you wanna? No. Lead go off? ahead. No. You please, wanna... No. 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 Please. No, 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 please. <laughs> please. Go ahead. Uh, you know what? That being said, all right. How about this? I'll uh, let me uh, let me get a slap single for you to uh, you know hit, hit the home run. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to hit this ball 500 feet. <laughs> all right. So I'll real you wait till next question to hit it 500 feet. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now. First and foremost, Tom Brady should not touch a football field unless he's walking <laughs> walking through uh, ownership, just being like, you know what, I'm an owner. I can walk on the field. Go after yourselves. <laughs> That's the only way uh, he should ever touch a football field. That being said, <clears throat> it is noted, Connor, that NFL teams and NFL developments for uh, well, yeah. Of course, it's, it's possible. You see the steroid era, dog. Yeah. That's what uh, I was <laughs> but uh, no. So what I was to say. Um, so it's 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 really really bad in the NFL now developing quarterbacks, and I think the tiers in which quarterbacks are currently have aren't as good. I think the co- basically the coaching for development of quarterbacks is poor. So it's either you're hitting a home run with your quarterback. Or you are Kirk Cousins signing ridiculous deals in Atlanta, <laughs> or you're just trash. Like I, I really think that that is like kind of the tears that you could you see in the NFL now. So it's either Patrick Mahomes, like 
like that the tier underneath that would be like Joe Burrow, uh, Josh Allen, um, just to name a few. I, I'll even say Jordan Love on that tier, like because I, I like his game. He played amazing last year. But saying that. Um, could Tom Brady come back and play in the NFL today? I actually do think so, uh, to an extent, to an extent, uh, and teams, uh, Raiders obviously is, uh, the Raiders would be one, one, um, giants. I can see him playing for the giants only because, uh, I think that Daniels deal was absolute trash. Uh, geez. What, what other team struggles with at the quarterback position right now? Um, forty uh, niners are the the question. The Panthers. <laughs> uh, no, okay, forty niners. That'd be interesting to see him play for the forty niners. But like, so why are we going to throw shade on Brock Purdy though? Come on, we we we, we got to stop. Uh, we got to give dude his flowers. Like Brock Purdy I is like Brock Purdy. Same, I, like I do too. Like I I, yeah. I don't like the fact that people are calling him a system quarterback. I don't think he's a system quarterback at all. I think he's actually a, a he's a good quarterback. I think he's like he's a mid tier quarterback that's able to make uh, some some great throws. So he's trying to Vikings. That's fair too, actually. Like the Vikings have like who who is the Vikings quarterback right now? It's gonna be JJ McCarthy. Hope Te- probably, technically Jerry. I, uh, He's the only one I on the roster. He, is he the only one on the roster? Yeah. They don't have Nick Mullins anymore. So obviously that. they're gonna do what they can to uh, do anything. But anyway, so I, I digress. As oh, always. Sam Darnold. That's right. Sam. Darnold. Oh, Sam like, Darnold. Yeah, oh, let's go. Wow. Yeah, big. Uh, yeah, big that's competition for TV twelve there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. I knew they made off season. That's funny. But yeah, no, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, see. And Tom Brady, though, in a 49er uniform. How old is he now? Like 50, 47? 46. 46? Ooh. I don't know, man. Like, hey, God bless him. If he's able to, to – if he'd be able to do – oh, man. He said no, he's in good shape. He'll always be in good shape. Well, dude, great. Good job. I'm in good shape for a 39-year-old, almost 40. Like, I, But you're not going to see my ass. So, I mean, obviously, I was never at the caliber. I'm not going to – okay, so let's pump the brakes on that. But – but you're not going to see me walking out to the like the nearest gym and be like, all right, I'm going to go. Let's go play ball against these 20 year old kids. Uh, that you know, what I'm saying I'm going I'm to get my ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, so no, I, I really don't think the only reason why he should be walking on an NFL football field is saying that I'm the owner. Go after yourselves. I'm going to walk to the 50 yard line and be like, yeah, I'm the man for the Raiders. That's it. He's getting his own ceremony in New England, like June twenty something, like this year, and June twenty second. And he one hundred percent, and he one hundred percent deserves it. He one hundred percent deserves that. But that being said, keep your ass retired, sit back, enjoy the the fruits of your labor. We have TB twelve keep you healthy until you're ninety seven thousand years old. I don't give a shit. Just stay away from football. We're done and we're past that era. Yeah, Ric Flair. <laughs> wow. No more returns. Yeah, you saw that on AEW. Oh my God, what is he doing? <laughs> MJ. The only place that Tom Brady would go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> is the only place where he can get carried like he did his entire career. Oh my. And that would be in San Francisco. Because all San Francisco needs is somebody with half of a brain to run their <laughs> offense. No disrespect to Brock Purdy, but when they got. To any type of big moment, Brock Purdy was not there. It just plain and simple. Like Brock Purdy barely beat the Packers. Brock Purdy barely beat the Lions. Like the amount of struggle that that poor man had. You just need a little bit of ice in your veins and you would have been fine against some of those franchises. So that's the only place that he would go. Because he's old, he's decrepit. Aaron Rodgers, brother. Aaron Rodgers faced so many bad defenses. Oh, okay, okay. Pump the brakes. Let's let's stay let's stay on let's stay on. I get it. I was gonna say yeah, I can Tommy, I, I can just I know you can you. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear. Can, I can write I, you a, a ten page essay. About the, we're gonna talk about the Packers in just a second. So I don't oh, know how incorrect God. you are, Mister Forty Seven. I don't want to hear you to go at, hiding behind your keyboard. I know who you are. I don't want to hear. Um, dear goodness. But yeah, Tom Brady got carried his entire career. 
He did not. Yes, he did. He got statistically, he got carried. Oh my gosh. I and I'm just I'm just I'm not excited to hear him in a broadcast booth. Like I am actually. I think he'd provide very good content. I think he'd be like really I, I think he's better than Tony Romo. He's gonna be better than Tony Romo. <laughs> I love Tony Romo. No, sorry, dog. I love I just, Tony I Romo. Just, Tom Brady right Romo. away is gonna get I like Greg Olson better. is gonna get big time games and he doesn't have yeah. to prove it. And I don't like that. Like, I don't like that he's just going to get, you know, grandfathered in because he's Tom Brady and he's not going to actually have to prove that he's a good broadcaster or analyst. What if it, what if it was Aaron Rodgers? Would you be I don't want to hear Aaron Rodgers. I don't want to hear Aaron Rodgers. Either. Like, I, honestly, <laughs> and this saying. may be a hot take, I really don't love the former player analysts. I think they bring too much bias into the game. Like, I think Greg Olsen. Amazing. I think there Greg are Olsen's some, awesome. yes, but as a whole, like on the um, whole, who is the, the is it Jonathan Vilma? The yeah, don't talk about yes. Jonathan Vilma. He used to yeah. play for the Saints, yes, and yeah. he'll do Saints games, and he just slobbers I... over the Saints for wow, for wow, an wow. entire football game. Pause. No matter who, God, no matter who the Saints are playing, he's just like, <laughs> oh my goodness, the Saints are go- so good. Oh my goodness, Marshawn Lattimore is the next Deion Sanders. Like he just says such outlandish stuff, and it's so clear that he is biased towards the team he used to play for. Oh, so whatever. I do not want to hear Tom Brady's stupid self announce uh, a Patriots uh, or a Bucks game. You realize like, like 99% get that. of the commentators Off play football. I okay. I'm saying I in general, I don't like commentators um, who play football. I think we're gonna have to fact check that 99%. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> like almost, almost <laughs> all of them play football. All of them that commentate games play that's football. Awesome. Also, uh, let, let me just say this real quick. Jack always points at me and says, my goat. I Clearly, Jack doesn't listen because what I say is Aaron oh, Rodgers is go. the most talented thrower of a football ever. Tom Brady is the most decorated winner. They can both have their roses. I love Aaron Rodgers just – Effortlessly throwing, yeah, dude, he is, it's like so crazy to me. How just I, I, I agree, I agree with that. You know who I, I can threw, differentiate the two? Who threw a great ball that doesn't get enough credit? Michael Vick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh dude, his deep ball to Deshaun Jackson. Oh dude, the way like beautiful. Uh, Biggest. Yeah, I can do math. Me greater than you because you're a bum well, and I know let's, you are. So let's get do off some other math. Let's do some other math because I want to get into the last let's part do of this. Some other math. And, and I'm about to show you some numbers that's going to blow, kind of like make you rethink oh, here a couple we go. things in your life. So <laughs> I, I, know, man. I recently came across a video of where it was comparing two NFL quarterbacks and like how they would – prepare their team to go into the playoffs this next season. So I want to, and then this is where I get to the Packers point. I'm going to give you come on, two quarterbacks, right? And I want to say sometimes love can be very good for us, and sometimes love can hurt. So I want to compare Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts. I'm going to give you numbers this past season. Oh, and I want you to kind of numbers I are really want, close too. I don't want any Packer bias. I want you to legitimately no, tell me who you think is going to bring their team or has a better chance of bringing their team to a championship. So All I'm right. going to give you some numbers. Can I, can so, I ask a clarifying question first? Yes. Is this independent of their current roster? Now, the, the, they're 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 – Leading, you could say their leading is is independent, like the way they way they're going to play. You can say who's okay. going to play better, and okay. then you could say, okay, which mm-hmm. one has uh, obviously you can make roster like, hey, okay. you know, this person okay. has a better roster. Okay. But okay, okay. So let, let's let's say who's gonna play better, and then we can say which team we could see making a championship run. So Jordan Love and they both played 17 games last last mm-hmm. season. Jordan Love had 4,406 scrimmage yards. He had 36 total touchdowns, 14 turnovers, and 64.2 percent completion. He was okay. Nasty. Now Hurts, on the other hand, people are saying, you know, we 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 I like Jordan Love. We like Jordan Love on the show. He played great. But Hurts, on the other hand, we're saying, oh, he's terrible. You know, he's not. He had an MVP caliber season, and he's just terrible now. Jordan, or Jalen Hurts actually passed the most he's ever passed. He had a career passing year this past season. He has 4,463 scrimmage yards, 38 total touchdowns, scrimmage 20 turnovers, 
and 65.4% completion. So their numbers are very, very similar, but yet we're saying Jalen Hurts is trash and Jordan Love is going to be the next Patrick Mahomes. Well, I'm not saying that either. Oh, I'm not saying that either. That's so, an unrealistic expectation. <laughs> so, Patrick Mahomes is going to end up as the greatest quarterback ever, <laughs> both in talent and success. So that's so, a I, I, I give I give you these numbers. Oh, you know, hot takes, and, hot takes, hot takes, and sausage from MJ. If 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 um, MJ wants to go first, you can. I want to know which player is going to perform better this season. Obviously, Jalen Hurts had a you could say had a worse year this year, and then I want you to tell me, hey, you no, know, Jalen Hurts has they got a Saquon Barkley acquisition. The Packers mm. haven't done much but release a all pro tackle, you know, that they didn't really need. Right. So I need to know some things. Who do you think is going to play better? Who do you think has a better chance of making the chip? I'll, I'll let Bruce go first. Packers got a freaking Packers got a running back that they didn't need to get and overpaid for him too. Um, His cap it is 5 million next year. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I still think for him. Um, what we got? I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was looking up uh, some stuff. Go ahead, MJ. Jordan, Jordan Love or Jalen Hurts? Who will have the better season? It's basically Next the question. Uh, I like that question. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Fuck. Oh, that's the first one. You're out. Uh, you know, I'm going to stick with this thought process. Um, I'm not going to. So last year, I think you already went over these numbers. So Jordan Love threw, threw for 32 touchdowns, threw 11 picks, whereas Jalen Hurts had 23 touchdown passes and 15 interceptions. Um, obviously, Jalen well, Hurts total touchdowns because Jalen Hurts had 15 tutties correct. on the ground. So like, correct. You can't correct. just total touchdowns just like is also one apart, but it's okay. Just, just so like I, but I, I, but you know what though, I dismiss that to be honest with you, only because like you're I, like. I think that um, the the tush push overinflated those numbers a little bit too. And if uh, you if you think he's going to run for fifteen tutties every year, right? No, that's you're... just ridiculous. So I'm I'm just going to put it like this. I I think next year, um, I think the NFC North, and this is this might be a little bit my bias coming through too, but I think the NFC North might be one of the more competitive, if not the most competitive, division in football next year. I'd say uh, AFC North would be the most competitive. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's, okay, but I, I I do think that the NFC North is a good is, is going to be like a crazy crazy one as well. That being said, um, I'm going to go against uh my fandom, and I'm going to say I think Jordan Love's going to have better numbers and have a better year than Jalen Hurts because um I I think Jalen Hurts. Again, this is again, this is me, and I said this last year when we did our 32 team uh, diss. Remember that, MJ? That was funny. Yep. That was hilarious. Our 32 team diss. I said that Jalen Hurts um, isn't as good as his numbers and everything he says because everything around him, the offensive line and uh, the skill positions were, uh, I mean, borderline elite. Like you put Jordan Love or uh, with those receivers, that offensive line. I think I think, and not even just Jordan Love. I think you put a lot of NFL quarterbacks, right, right, well, with that the, offensive for, line for those the receivers, was, right, that running game. But for like, uh, but you know, for yeah. because of the question, Jordan Love. So that's why I said that. But well, like, let's let's think about it though. One has made. I did, I, I, I did think about it, Jordan Love. But but but, but one has made the chance. We've seen one already take a team to the championship, right? We've okay, seen well already. then. Okay, we're gonna go back to MJ's thought process on uh, like I, I, Jalen Hurts was carried. Like, if you want to actually like see what a player is like to be carried, Jalen Hurts. That's a that's a player that's carried. Mm. I, I didn't even say that one. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I, I think do. when you I'm put sorry. thirty something points against Patrick Mahomes' team in the Super Bowl, you you're pretty much doing pretty good. He and by everybody else's well. argument, he, he lost, well. so it's his fault. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even play well in that. He had one elite throw, one elite throw that I, I can recall, and that was it. Like, even Justin Fields can have an elite throw. So we, we have to ask a question before we can truly answer Connor's question. The question is, what defines success? Are you, Connor, defining success as who makes it further in the playoffs, 
or are you defining success as who has a better statistical season? I want to know who will have a better season this next season. And, and how do you define a, better season? Well, stats? I mean, stats for one, sure. And I'm then obviously, stats. obviously, yes, yeah, stats goes into it. But obviously, as we see in these past MVP races, stats aren't really – matter who's the better player right lamar jackson won mvp wasn't even top 10 in any qb statistical category so that's incorrect but that's okay you no know, well the ones that matter <laughs> we talked about this the ones that mattered you know he was top 10 and of course rushing and stuff sure but throw oh passing. So, so rushing so rushing doesn't matter but it matters for jalen hurts no rushing does so it's matter Lamar versus Dak, i said rushing quarter, doesn't matter. i said quarterback category and rushing is not a quarterback stat. Okay, so it, so if Rush, rushing is a quarterback running back stat, then reason. why bring it up in Jalen Hurts versus Jordan Love? Because he had 15 touchdowns on the ground. Of course I'm going to bring it up. Oh, but if Lamar is successful on the ground when we're talking about Lamar versus Dak, then it doesn't matter. No, I, I put all their total touchdowns. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we have, we have breaking news. We have breaking news. We have breaking also, news. Say, I did the same thing I'm doing with Love and Hurts. I don't know if you guys got this. Uh, the Green Bay Packers have just traded Jordan Love. Have signed Tom Brady. Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, Jordan Love already last year had a, a better season as a passer than Jalen Hurts did. I agree. In every single mm-hmm. passing category. And we can ask the former NFL player, what is a quarterback's job? And what will Nate say? to throw the ball in the pocket. And what does Jordan Love do better than Jalen Hurts? Throw the ball in the pocket. I agree. Now, obviously, something could change next year, right? Jalen Hurts could develop as a passer. And I have nothing against the guy inherently. If he develops as a passer, great. From what I can see right now, Jordan Love is a better passer of the football than Jalen Hurts. Now, the Eagles are a really good football team. Howie Roseman builds that squad. So... Will the Eagles end up having a better season than the Packers next year? <laughs> if I had to put my money on it, yeah, they probably will. If I had to logically put my money on it, yeah, the Eagles will probably make it further in the playoffs than the Green Bay Packers next year. But will that be solely because of Jalen Hurts or because of the really good roster that they've built, that disgusting Agreed. defense that they have? The defense I think that Jalen Hurts will have less of a share of responsibility for his team's wins than Jordan Love will next year. So I think Jordan Love will have a bigger impact on the Green Bay Packers than Jalen Hurts will have on the Philadelphia Eagles. I like that. I like that take. I'm, I I agree with y'all. I'm actually going to go with Jordan Love. Now, we have a lot of pressure taken off of What is Jaylen going Hurts. on? Why, why, since when are we all agreeing on shit lately? Well, we have That's a lot weird. of pressure taken off of Jalen Hurts because of this Saquon Barkley acquisition. But you have to also yeah. think they're going to feed him the ball this season. Feed and me so more. With a two, Nate says he's going to get over two thousand yards this season. So with a, it, it hypothetically, if that were the case, Jalen Hurts' numbers would they would tank? Like they would be I'll bet that. probably a lot worse than they were this past season. Run, rushing wise, you know, maybe he develops as a passer a lot better, and then that conversation's had like, hey, he's not going to have this rushing resume this next season. So with Jordan Love being the better passer. That's who we have to go with. So Connor, I, I want to applaud you for a, a rational take. <laughs> that was good. Connor says some outlandish stuff sometimes. Oh wait, I is, that, even... is that the last? Is that the last? Uh... That is the last. I thought we were okay. going to go a little bit longer. Hold on, um, hold on, okay. Real quick. okay that, hold on. That's what she said. Hold on, hold on. I got to make sure. <laughs> I, I got to make sure it's that a tough we... look for the program. We got we got to talk about this before before Connor before you bounce out of here, we got to talk about what you and Cy did uh, last week, talking oh. about uh, yeah about your your free agent acquisition. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm gonna uh, let Bruce cook on this. I'm gonna let, let Bruce let's cook. Take on this. Okay, let's 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 talk about this real quick. Okay, Cy, so, can you pull up that keep, tier list? Do you have keep to in mind this was a consensus decision. A lot of my gradings were overruled by an uh, NFL player and Kenny. Yeah, you know why? So, because they were clown ass decisions. I gave the Bears <laughs> a higher grade than what we gave the Bears. So the, okay, and you saw my grades, right? Correct. I'm, I'm asking you that because I sent that text message to to the group. And I said the Lions. I know. I'm sorry. I think I had the Packers at a B plus. It, it was the Vikings that you had a problem with. The grade they gave the Vikings. Yeah, that was way too high. 
Like, I couldn't even tell you, other than Aaron Jones, somebody the Vikings have signed. Right. I was who, who, what did we give the Vikings? Okay, look, this is our, this was our, 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 uh, we kind have of mindset for the Vikings, right? So the Vikings, we know 100% that they are not going to acquire a quarterback better than Sam Darnold. They want to try and get that somewhere else, including the draft. So, so to right, keep right. that in mind, we have to take into consideration, okay, what are the Giants doing other than that quarterback position? You mean the Vikings? The Vikings? They ha- I mean the Vikings. They oh, have yeah, done. About- but you can't even – no, 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 stop. You can't – okay, you can't say that. And then and we have, did the same thing with the Bears. And then talk about the Bears. No, you, but we you did the same yeah, thing with the Bears. You can't say that though, no, because you, Connor, Connor, we we know. I, it Connor, I have an honest question. Connor, yes. Connor, I have an honest question. Okay, so if if you're saying that you took into account what the Vikings will do at the quarterback Ooh. position in the draft, that was nasty. Crap. And you say in our text thread that you graded the Bears more poorly. Because they traded Justin Fields, yes, for in your a bag words, of chips. Like a bag of chips, a bag of chips and a diet coke. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know what? Which I could go for that right have, now. That'll have more performance on the football field than Justin Fields. Anyway, continue, MJ. It. Why not grade the Vikings poorly because they didn't re-sign Kirk Cousins? Are you saying that JJ McCarthy or whoever the Vikings hey, get will be better than Kirk Cousins? Because your argument. All along has been that Justin Fields gave the Bears a better chance to win than Caleb Williams. So I'll therefore, ask- are you saying that whoever the Vikings will get at quarterback will be better than Kirk Cousins was? No, I'll even ask this. I'll even ask this though. I'll, like, let's take it a step further. MJ, is is Justin Fields better than Kirk Cousins? Because if you're saying the Bears got that much worse because they got rid of Justin Fields, then he must be. So originally, I gave the Bears a B. Right, okay, and then it went down a tier. Originally, I gave the Packers and Vikings an A, and then they all brought it down a tier. I I like what the Packers are doing. I like what all this NFC North. They're doing a fantastic job. NFC North. Yeah, you did say that. I agree with that. Because I have because I have an NFL player who's been in the game and Kenny, who's also pretty knowledgeable. They were like, "Hey, you know, you're kind of ranking them too high, so let's bring them down." I think the Packers should have gotten an A. I, I was gonna give the Packers an A. The uh, Vikings, you could have talked, you could have talked me into yeah. a B for the, for like the Vikings. Josh, I don't like that Josh Jacobs signing. Like I, 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 I for whatever reason. And Off I air, been, I can convince you, Bruce. It's, I, I, it's really good. Like logically, it's really good. I, I just, I don't know. Like I, I thought, I, to be honest with you, I thought the two-headed monster that they had in in Green Bay with Dylan and, um, uh, why is Jones? Jones. Thank you, Jones. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Like I thought that, that, I thought that was awesome. I thought that was a great. Like no, it was, but Aaron combo. Jones couldn't stay on the field. And Josh Jacobs is four years younger, and they're getting him for the same amount of money they would have paid a 30-year-old Aaron Jones, and they get to move the age clock on a running back back f- four more years. Okay, and that's fa- okay. So if we're if we're gonna go from that like that perspective, I can understand that I, yeah. I, I, I don't disagree with that. So and all right, well, that's a lot of time. Like people, that's a big like oh my I, god, I like, like that it. was a same. I think it's a great signing for the for, for the Bears. Reason being is because of the offensive scheme that they were going to have under Shane, like uh, Shane Walter. I think that's a. I think that is. They need a guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield and can be a three down running back. So I, I think I think that was it's fine. Like you're only paying what seven million dollars a year. Okay, seven like seven million dollars. That's fine. And like who's their running backs beforehand? Okay, so. Uh, I, I just I, I think that was a great uh, I think that was fine. I mean, I like the I mean running backs, you could argue that hey, these these people deserve X amount of money. Okay. And when you don't have to pay them X amount of money, like with the Josh Jacobs deal, I I don't I think that's pretty good value. I mean, honestly, they might have paid Josh Jacobs more than they paid other running backs that got signed this season. Well, I think well, – th- okay, well, well, but the, the – million, $7 million for Swift for the Bears, like, you, I mean, to be honest with you, you probably could have found somebody at, like, 5 to $6 million that, that could be, like, cheaper. But, again, I think that they they front-loaded that contract, too. Also, the, the Jacobs – so the Jacobs deal, I get why people on that. are confused. The Jacobs deal on paper is four years, $48 million. That yes. was also the deal that they gave Aaron Jones four years ago – the Packers did not pay Aaron Jones $48 million. That's the whole point. That's why they oh, cut yeah. Aaron Jones, because he was no longer worth nice. the That's AAV originally. 
Hey, and that's that absolutely fun. true. Thank you, Michael. Because on, Michael. Aaron you. Jones was out half the year when he was on the field. The Packers offense was great. You want to know why they struggled the first half of the season? Because Aaron Jones wasn't on the field. He got hurt in that Bears game and didn't come back until midway through the season when the Packers offense took off. I totally for, I totally so they wanted somebody who would be more reliable, four years younger, and cost the same, if not less. What's his mile? Okay, so but, but real quick though, what's his mileage? Because like, what's his touches? Because I that, that's a, that's one thing. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, because like, I, 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 he's had honest, three I'm, really high mileage years. I was about um, to say, I'm but, the Raiders. But realistically, who, who looking at have? looking at how the Packers do business, he's not going to be there more than three years. Well, that, yeah, the should, just any don't running keep... back, any running back is usually right. not at, like at the at their specific right. spot. For so, so I'm not worried about Josh Jacobs' mileage, and. Matt LaFleur doesn't use his running backs like that. Like that was the biggest critique for the last few years about Matt LaFleur was that he didn't use Aaron Jones enough. So right. they still oh, have I... AJ Dillon. Um, I, honestly, I'm just, I'm like, okay, great. Another really talented running back that Matt LaFleur won't use enough. Like oh, no. in that sense, I'm like, oh, okay. We just replaced a talented running back with another talented running back. They both have really good skill sets and we kept AJ Dillon. Um, but like Josh Jacobs has led the NFL in a lot of really good categories in the last few years. So I like it from that sense, but I'll well, shut up. I don't want to talk too much about Packers. Hold on, hold on. Right, so the what the the one thing that and I, okay, so excuse me, I saw you post that like from Jack. Uh the one thing that I completely regret for the Bears, like uh the Bears doing is letting Montgomery walk. I think that was one of the dumbest moves they could have possibly done because I think the Lions are only paying him like five million dollars a year. And I Who? think that that M- Montgomery when they let oh, Montgomery yeah. walk. So I, I thought that that was a mistake letting him leave, and I think I he's very. I think he's very underrated, and um, he's a he's a good running back. He's a good running back, and uh, in, in a in obviously a league that doesn't uh, appreciate that position as much as they used to. I agree. I agree. So. <sighs> I like jo- the Josh Jacobs acquisition. I mean, you could say the same thing with him. Josh Jacobs was injured last season as well. Yeah. So it's like, are right. you going to get the same production from Aaron Jones that you got that you're going to get with Josh Jacobs this next? Because you can make that argument. Hey, we're paying him forty eight million dollars over the span of four years. Is he going to turn out where he's only going to play thirteen games a season? Right. I don't know. But also, in my Josh opinion, Jacobs had to play for Jack's least favorite person on the face of this earth. So, Josh <laughs> Jacobs is a top three so, running back, in my opinion, on, when he's on the field. Oh, did Bruce have hair in high school? Yes, he did. <laughs> Wait, what? I did. I did. I actually had. Well, uh, Bruce had hair I, when I met him. I, it's true too. What's What's funny about that? I actually used to have. Uh, I used to have that uh, amazing bowl haircut back in the day. I should. Uh, I, I I should. I could. Jacobs that deserves out. forty-eight million dollars for going through what he went through with with. Okay, if we're going. Are we going, are, we going are, are we going with an emotional take? Come on. Ja, ja, all of Jack's takes are emotional. Fair. <laughs> all of them are emotional. What do you mean? <laughs> but no. Okay, so I, I okay as a Bears fan, I actually wanted Jacobs. Okay, I'll put that out there right now, hundred percent. I I did. I I one hundred percent wanted Josh Jacobs to be a Chicago Bear. Okay, so let's, would let's, you have wanted him over Swift? Yes. 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 Look at us all being rational today. Yeah. I, I it's kind of weird, right? What's going on? It's okay. We still have another hour. We can get crazy. I know, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, I hey, I'm only three beers in. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> but before we get into that other hour, there is one thing that I would really like to have as opposed to other insurances on the market. A, a woman? No. I said insurances, Bruce. And that's Building Block Insurance by Jeff Jeff for Tebby. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent is Building Block Insurance Group. Get a quote today at 704-464-4544. Erie Insurance. 
And when you call Jeff or Tutney at 704 464 4544, let him know that Third Down Thursdays and TDT Media sent you because he will hook you up with rates that will blow your mind. Let's go. Uh, Connor, just real quick. Love you, buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> This poor man went through 45 minutes with us and is just out here catching strays. I know. That was kind of mean. That was kind of, uh, uh, that was kind of mean. Jeff, <laughs> we're ta- Anyway, uh, so real quick, I know it's Chaos Central right now. We're going to have some fun, MJ. My laptop currently is at 34%. So hopefully, for those of oh you that gosh. don't know, uh, uh, my clown ass forgot my... Uh, I forgot my charger at work. So uh, don't worry. I got my iPad here ready to go as a backup plan. So we will pop that bad boy on here if if need be. Um, so MJ, no I know I know you don't uh, I know you don't watch wrestling because uh, you obviously you find it very like rudimentary, for lack of a better way to put it. But um, no, it's just it really doesn't entertain me. Like because enough. I know fair. it's scripted. Fair. If I'm gonna watch but, something scripted, I'd rather just watch a good movie. I'd rather watch the NFL, like Connor says. But uh, but uh, I'm going <laughs> to tell you something right now, though. Let me talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I grew up in the Attitude Era. That was like the you – know, I grew up with part of like the golden age, I guess. I don't even know what it's called. With like Hulk Hogan and Macho yeah. Man and Randy Savage, all those guys. And then I transitioned and I really started watching it during the Attitude Era with Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, um, DX, uh, Kane, Undertaker. Like, it, like it, 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 that was the golden age, in my opinion, the Attitude Era. That being said, dude, um, this past so the Re- WrestleMania for those of you that don't know, and MJ, you may not know this either. Uh, WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl of yeah. uh, wrestling, and it honestly, dude, it was. Awesome. We had Jason Kelsey jumping in, helping out Ray Mysterio. We had uh what else we had? We had some just just overall a fun time watching The Rock be the final boss. Dude, this guy's dropping F bombs like crazy. Like you think I'm bad. Like I was hearing F bomb after F bomb after F bomb on Peacock. Like, like just hearing like it was great though. I was like, yes, this is what it should be. This is what it's gonna be like next year. Or in, yeah, next year when it's on Netflix. Let's let's let, let's keep this going. Let's keep this rolling because at the end of the day, that's how people talk. Like, but um. So that being said, man, I had so much fun watching it. I was a little kid. So uh, last week, my wife was in Florida uh with her dad after he he had surgery helping him out whatever i had the kiddo and uh i am so glad that i'm downstairs and my daughter was on the opposite end of the house with a sound machine on because i was absolutely electric like i was yeah i was jump i dude i jumped up and down i was like let's go oh my god you know i personally wanted i don't know if you all right so this is i could give it away now because whatever but uh, so Cody Rhodes ended up winning the championship, which is awesome from Roman Reigns, who held it for uh, over a thousand days, third most I think in uh, WWE history. But um, that tells you how much I've been watching. It's kind of crazy again. But uh, that being said, the Undertaker helps, which was cool. I like that. I was, I was, that was kind of you know the original like you know the uh, defender of the ring and the uh, the dog like the the dog. I can't remember what how he calls himself. Anyways. Um, I want a stone cold to be back, dude. That was my thing. I want a stone cold to come back. I want to hear that glass shatter. I want to hear him. I want to see him come down. Uh, Connor, if you want to jump in here on this too, because I know you're a big, uh, you're a big wrestling guy too. I but, appreciate uh, this. Oh, oh, I, I, I wanted, I wanted, I, I wanted stone cold to come out and like come down there, give it, but like, get, get that, grab that beer, give it a little kick, and, like, yeah, stunner, and then like, and then go. Like, that's that's what that's what I wanted. That, that's what I wanted. No, I mean the Undertaker spot was great. Don't get me wrong. Like I was screaming so like, hey dude, much. I went, I was like, I literally was like, John my buddy Cena, was on his John knees. Like, I was shaking. I was shaking. Now I did make a. We did have a predictions video, me and Tanner and a couple of our buddies, where we did end up filming that match afterwards. And I said that John Cena was going to return. So the fact mm-hmm. that I got that right, I should have won well, that the was, predictions video. That was that was um, that was kind of easy. But 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 Stone Cold like they had such oh, a I didn't great know that, opportunity to put Stone Cold and and yeah there's I think no I don't know if Lesnar was supposed to go in for Undertaker Lesnar was supposed to be like 
you know, they were supposed to have like a Cody Lesnar feud after Cody won. Right. You know, and because he has all these legal issues with John Laurinaitis and Vince McMahon, you know that you know about yeah. that. Yep, yeah, yep. that's why they couldn't have him. It was the same for the Royal Rumble. Braun Breaker had to step in for Brock because Brock had all these legal troubles. So it was, it was, it was. They wanted, uh, they wanted, they, so they wanted, so they did want Stone Cold to return, but he said no because he wanted to spend more time, keep spending time with his family and stuff. But we love a family man. You can't beat the Undertaker at <laughs> WrestleMania, Bruce. <laughs> that's fair. No, that's I, I don't disagree with it. I don't uh, unless you're Brock Lesnar. I don't disagree with it. Poor MJ. MJ's like, what the hell are we talking about? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> I know the names. It just means nothing to me. Hey, but hey, uh, MJ, what do you think about? Uh, what, what do you think about the Undertaker? What do you think about? Actually, what do you think about the Rock? What do I think about the Rock? Yeah, what do you think about the Rock? Like in general? It doesn't matter what you think about the Rock. Oh! <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's one of he doesn't get it. No. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Did you see that Roy Dudley came back? <laughs> Dude, I did. Oh, I did. I did see that. <laughs> oh. That's Get the it. table! Get the Devon! Get the table! Yeah, dude, it was awesome. That was a lot of fun, man. I I it was basically like I was reliving my childhood right there. Like my like high school and like what I loved it. I was like, let's freaking go. And the fact that the Undertaker's like pushing 60, the rocks in his mid-50s. I'm sitting there being like, I was just like a little kid, dude. I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was it was sick. Mm, mm. <laughs> that, ah, that's great that's great Pro, that cody and roman match might that that's like a top five match ever dude that was a really i, I in my okay. opinion yeah yeah no like there was a lot of uh there was a lot of old school uh from that like a lot of like attitude era type feel to no. it too and dude okay you know what the, how about the usos by the way taking that bump like going oh, off the the, here yeah, that that spear off the freaking uh, the the ramp in onto the tables like below. I'm sure there was like padding too, but whatever. Like I thought, like dude, that that was awesome. No, I mean it was like an ECW match. It was literally like an ECW match. They they were going out into where you know the people could literally touch their shoulders and stuff. It was great, dude. It, it was ECW. It was shock. Okay, so how about this? I mean, I don't even know if you know about this. Shotgun Saturday Night. Like that was like WWE's version of like ECW. It was so awesome. Uh, I mean, I I, I was just I, there's there's not much I could. I'm literally just speechless. It was about, fun about, I, about I, it. It, it, just... it. I I would okay. So I wouldn't go as far to call it a uh, ECW match only because it wasn't as extreme. No, no. I mean, but yeah. like I, I I saw it more as like like I said like a shotgun Saturday night or like uh, like just a throwback. Like I don't know. It was cool. It was fun. I liked it. I mean, the whole time I was like, they're gonna literally let the people be right there when it, when it and usually you know they would have them feet like they would try to push them all the way back as far as they could to where they were nowhere close to the wrestlers and they were just like, well, yeah, it's WrestleMania. Triple Bro, think, just thank Triple H. Oh, Triple H saved that company. 100%. There was a time where I just could not watch it. I just could not watch it. And then right when Triple H comes in, it's like, wow, this is actually what WWE used to be. The same. MJ, poor MJ right now. <laughs> I'm just scrolling Twitter. Are you scrolling WWE Twitter? No. <laughs> I don't know Shotgun Saturday Night, but I'm, a, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably too young for that. Oh, 100 you were like so. Shotgun Saturday night was like on at like 12 30, 12 30 at night, like on Saturdays, obviously. And uh, dude, it was awesome. Like, I was like, a, I was like a kid, I was like, I'm gonna stay up late, watch Shotgun Saturday night. It was, dude, it was uh, it was fun, man. Yeah, but would you want to destroy your like who, who was your okay, who was your favorite growing up? Stone Cold, okay. I was about to say, like, you, you could resonate with Stone Cold, right? Like, the. Like I just dude, it was Stone Cold and The Rock. Those are my two favorites. Sleeper. All right, all right. How about okay? So my sleeper guy that I actually really liked too was D'Lo Brown. Oh, oh, what's what? He was he was with um Ron Simmons and, and yeah, also, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to I'm trying to think. Well, yeah, uh, didn't they just get inducted to the Hall of Fame? Hall I don't fame? know. I don't remember. 
Tanner, Nation of Domination get inducted to the Hall of Fame? No. He said no. We are the nation of domination. domination. Do some shit like that. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna but, be, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be literally like, I'm, I'm practicing now. You know my spots and stuff. Now I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the next wrestler, right? Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. Next time, I, MJ, yeah, like I want you on this too, you know, on this too. Sai, you too. Obviously, you too, Connor. I, I want us to get together. We're gonna go to like a Dollar Tree or something like that, or Dollar General or whatever it's called in the South or wherever we're all together. We're gonna get a chair. We're gonna get a table. <laughs> And like someone's gonna get choke slammed through the table. <laughs> I'll take the bump. Oh, look at you! I've, I've already taken like my whole body was sore for the next week from all the well, bumps yeah. I took. I'd rather I, on I, that I, grass. I, the one thing I will say is I've always wanted to do a power bomb like, through a table and so I just be like, bah! Bruce. I feel like you could make it look way more impressive if it was Connor or Sian, not me. Yeah, exactly. Unless it was like a pop up power bomb, I don't know how high it could get. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> if I land on that table, that table's done. Well, yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> oh, Sai wants to be power bombed. Pause. I bet he does. Pause. Time oh, out. I'm screenshotting that. Sai's <laughs> <laughs> so like, please power Hell bomb no, me. Y'all are actually <laughs> dirty. Power bomb me, me daddy. No, no. I said power bomb me. I, I, bon- I was going to be like, oh, I volunteered to ship you. But I was like, nah, power bomb me. Because if you're going to take a bump, I got to take a bump. That's how that works. Whatever. Power. Just stop saying <laughs> power bomb me. It sounds so bad. <laughs> it does sound like you just want it really, to like, It really does. Peace, and peace now I realize Bruce. That. What? Okay, now that's it. Nah. Uh, that's what I have to say. Y'all are crazy. Side, check your Twitter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is not good. There's a lot of pauses going on right now. I don't know what the hell. I'm so glad on. Nate missed that because Nate oh, was Nate so bad right now. There he is. Hey, I Nate. I was wondering. Nate, bro. Nate. All right, get Nate in here. I'm gonna. I want to let him know what the hell it was just said. All right, so this here. Guy let me. Just... Let, no, let me. Let me add it as a as a overlay. <laughs> Same. Oh, the kid. Scared to even. Look at what oh, Sai just said in the chat. What the? <laughs> At least I'm not the only one memed on now. <sighs> Hi, Nate. Oh, Powerball. <laughs> Nate's, Nate's like, Gator's about to power bomb you, girl. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> so Gator, knows Gator the coming to the chat. Power bomb. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Nate. I, how you doing? I miss you guys. I love y'all. Did he say power bomb like Captain Insano? <laughs> Captain Insano. <laughs> That's so good. Sean, no Diddy, no Diddy. Oh no! What are you doing, Sean? That's my dog. That's awesome. Hey yo, (laughs) horse eye. This is what you get. Uh, Does that mean? Okay, so Bruce would definitely have to be Diddy, right? In this case, no. What? No. Hell no. Time out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hell Probably no. shouldn't have gone there. Probably shouldn't have gone. You know, shouldn't I, have gone there. No, no. Um, it, it, it was just to, the fact to say that Sai would be taking it, right? All right, you know the bump that you're gonna take. Right? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm the one that's putting your ass through a fucking table now. That's I too- thought you were. I thought you already <laughs> were. We were talking about wrestling. Yeah, Nate, Nate, you missed a couple things. <laughs> just you, know, you guys hear Nemo in the back. Uh, I just want to say hello to my kids, Tyler. Nemo, Demi, DQ, Nika, I love you, baby. Um, Thank you for bringing civility hey, back into this. Like, hey, um, has anybody been able to watch Tiger? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, because you 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 had you had a you had a part of it uh, on your on your page. But well, he's one back, or not one back? He's minus one. Okay, but he's looking good. The back back and the legs are holding up pretty well. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the first he day. Played, so, he yeah. only played 13. He's got to play 22, 23 holes tomorrow. Yeah, he, they stopped because of bad weather. So that's going to be his biggest test. If he can make the cut after playing 23 holes tomorrow, that's going to be really impressive. It's going to be big right there. Yeah. But, I mean, he looked – what was fine. impressive was – that first was it? They said his first drive. I think was that his first drive that you had that, that you had. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that was a hundred and eighty mile an hour drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the dude me, though, he is he was no kind of, oh, no sussness kind of intended. He beefed no up his upper body. I told what out. do you want? The man's looking yoked. He's looking jacked. Like Nate, how do you want me to say that? Tiger's been looking like that for the past like few years, though. Yeah, but he, he look. I'm not gonna say because Nick gonna get mad. Oh no, he, he's looking extra beefy. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? What he does? Uh, uh. Hey, I'm just about to bust out that five wood. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, MJ over here has. Hey, have you seen? Oh wait, wait. Have you seen um, what's that movie? It's an Adam Sandler movie where he had to go back to school. Billy um, Madison. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Yeah, MJ over here looking like the wrestler on Billy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Matt I don't even know what that. I've seen the movie. Nate, Nate. Hey, but hey. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up for you, MJ. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Hold up. I really do appreciate that. He's called the revolting blob. Oh. <laughs> oh, why are you guys? Yeah, that's my nickname. I know what you say. That's not true. <laughs> Mrs. Nate, why you got to do him like that? I know. Oh, man. MJ is so petty. Hey, um, in all seriousness, hey, MJ, we need to talk um, about it. We need to talk about um, um, We need to talk about that. All right, get get get, get, get Kenny in here. What's up, Kenny? What's up, guys? <laughs> talk about what? Will. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna text what? you. Right now. I'm gonna text okay. you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, text me right now. Here you are, MJ. Oh no, oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. I don't. All okay, right. the other one I see the resemblance. The the American Dad one or whatever. I don't see the resemblance <laughs> on this one. It's that one I see the resemblance. <laughs> right. Perfect. That one up, hey, one, hey, kind of go ahead and put up mine. You put up mine. Uh, here's yours, Bruce. E equal opportunity <laughs> hating. Equal opportunity <laughs> hating. <laughs> All right. What, what, what are we doing right now? I'm doing... I thought you were talking about Tiger Woods, right? <laughs> All right. Hold up. Hold up. I, I got in trouble for talking about Tiger Woods. Wait, where did Bruce go? Bruce left. Oh, okay. Bruce is going. <laughs> okay. I got in trouble for talking about Tiger Woods, so I'm not going to talk about Tiger Woods no more. Well, you didn't talk about, about Tiger Woods' like golfing ability in the Masters. You just talked about how delicious his body looked. <laughs> no, I did not say delicious. You were like, you oh my said gosh, delicious. He looks like a. I did not say delicious. Burrito from Taco Bell that I'm just going to chow down on. Listen. Oh, sorry. I, I did not say that he looked like. The two for twelve deal at Arby's, where I could get some extra beef. Okay, is that two that for is not six? What I said. Yeah, that. What is going on here? See, yes, Connor's the freak of the week. <laughs> Arby's. Anyway, no, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing I, what MJ said. I said the dude bulked up. Like, what do you, what do you want from me? <laughs> How he played in the Masters. He's one under. He played thirteen holes. He hasn't played anything yet. He hasn't finished a full round of golf, so I'm not gonna make any does claims he, when he hasn't does he, finished. Does he, look, holes. does he look all right? Does he does he look fine? Like how, was he yeah, looking but he's like looked the fine goat? in plenty of tournaments through 13 holes and then withdrawn, bows out. withdrawn, yeah. withdrawn before he got to the full 36 to make a cut. So I'm not gonna make any judgments yet until well, I see him actually. The, is he gonna stay in the tournament then? Do you think he's gonna stay in the tournament or no? I mean, it sure looks like it as of now, but I'm I'm saying. He's looked like this through 13 holes multiple times, so I'm not going to make any judgments yet because I don't know what's going to happen 
through the next 23 holes. So I'm going to wait to make any judgments till I see him complete, you know, talking about Tiger? Thursday and Friday. Yeah. We're talking about Tiger. All right. So uh, what's the, what was the question? If Con- we see him withdrawing from the tournament. No, yeah. no, I don't. I think because uh, he's going for a record right now. He's going, so, the, so the, the, so the record that, Oh, I was getting to that. Uh, the rec- the record that he's going for right now is most consecutive uh, uh, made cuts for the Masters, I, th- I believe. And I think it's 24. It Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's 24. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't think that he wants to – he wants this. He wants to make the cut. And uh, if he – Dude, I like. I'll be honest with you. Like, I love Tiger Woods, dude. So let's go. We're we're going back. We talked about like wrestling, the Attitude Era, and how much I like. I love that time frame. So it's kind of a similar situation with Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is like basically like the guy that I used to that brought me, pulled me into golf, and I was like, dude, this guy's a goat. This guy is like like the black, the black pants with the red shirt and the black hat, dude. When he busted that bad boy out on Sundays. I was like, let's go. Um, now would be a good time to let's uh, let's pop up his new uh, the new logo for Tiger Woods, guys. I want I want to get now know I want to know what you guys think. Sunday red, that's the logo that he has now because um, he left he left Nike. Um, I I think that they could have done a better job with that logo, in my opinion. Um, I'm just I, what is, what is that? Is that supposed to be a tiger? T- exa- to be a tiger. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Looks like an animal cracker. I knew, uh, yeah, it could have been better. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I you could have done like a like a tiger like a tiger face. Like I thought that would be kind of cool, like a tiger like you know I don't know an outline of a tiger face or something like that. But I think they uh, I think the Sunday red is cool. I think it's a it's a cool moniker because that's what he's known for. But how are you gonna put a tiger like up at top with it saying Sunday red? I I think that's like too. I mean, it almost looks like the Exxon Mobil logo too. Yeah, good call. Good call. So I don't know. I don't even know if that logo matches what the actual name of the company is either. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I there's, I there's nothing like hidden in the negative space. There's no TW anywhere, or at least I can't see anything. So right, exactly. And so. it doesn't look like the layout of like a hole or a golf course. So yeah, I think they missed the mark on it quite a bit. Significantly, and the fact that they like uh they uh, I don't know uh apparently they don't have uh, a drunk Bruce to design logos apparently you know so <laughs> right. well to me if I were to look at this logo as someone that doesn't watch football uh, football golf a lot I well, would not have just, uh, ever ever told you that this was Tiger Woods' logo. I mean, okay, I just told you it was Tiger Woods. Logo, no, but if you would have never told good. me that, no, if you would have never told me that. I would have never. Never That's known that. So good. It's so true. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like a fish <laughs> skeleton. It's so good. You remember when like, yeah, I, I could see that too. The, that craft macaroni and cheese cartoons that you know when you get when we were kids, it totally does look like that. I mean, <laughs> as long as it comes with hot dogs, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do one. I had to do one. I, I had to do one. <laughs> Nate, you mean you? <laughs> you won't go. You won't go. Nate, what do you think of that logo? You want to go? I just wait a whoa, wait a minute. What's going on, MJ? Time I, out. I was because wait, where? Wait, cause, where? Because Bru- Bruce, Bruce was talking about about hot dogs. hot dogs and macaroni and cheese, dude. I grew up poor. Whatever. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, me. T- it's okay. Um, I'm just you know, the logo. I'm kind of confused. And when you said it, I'm when I asked if it was a tiger, you said yes. I'm like, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but how did I guess that? Mm. Smart. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> no, um, I don't, I don't know what uh, uh, Sunday red. I don't know. Um, a tiger with Sunday my, red. Why is it split though? Sunday red. Like, right. I don't, I don't get that part either. Oh, Sunday is one word. Isn't Sunday supposed to be one word. Oh, okay. Shut up, MJ. Because <laughs> you put your head down like you're just laughing. Like, you're just, you're just... you didn't know that Sunday was one word. Here we go. I just said, hold on. Here, here, we, go. here, go. here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Every day of the week is one word. 
Here it goes. Here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Right, to be go. fair, he was busy on Sunday, so it makes sense. Yo, let's go. I like that, Kenny. <laughs> busy on Sunday and every day of the week. That's <laughs> I get busy with the Lord on Sunday. Oh, wow. Way to give me like an <laughs> Praise, his name. Praise his name. Connor, come on. Connor, Connor made us look bad. Okay. What is it? What is it? <laughs> anyway. Our, it? Oh, wait, our... wait. Craig David. Craig David, dude. Tuesday. Been in love by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. We chilled on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't know that. Huh? Oh, Nate might know that. I don't think any other guys know. <laughs> All right, got it. We want to do cool. trivia now. <laughs> do you want to do trivia? I'd rather do trivia first, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, where are we at right now? Oh, we're at 9%. I might have to bust out the iPad. <laughs> oh, my. How did your laptop not last two hours? We're at 98%. The battery's, the battery's probably after. Well, I'm also, like, hooked up to – it's also providing multiple other things. Hold up. Oh. Uh, yeah, because we have actual setups, Scott. Well. <laughs> Hold up. Well, I have a laptop. Really, really I'll get a mic. I've been looking at one. A Mac camera, camera too. You need a Mac? Yeah. Oh man, this is. Oh my. Uh, I took on my phone. Son of a B. Why won't your iPad work? Well, I don't have. Hold on. What, what am I logged in as? It's fine. Just do. We'll just do like me versus Kenny first. Yeah, yeah. As you get situated, we'll do MJ versus Kenny first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, so, why, am I get, why do I always get Nate? What the shit? Because <laughs> you two are the only two of one. Wait, time out, Mike. So how are you doing? Though? Let me let me let let me tell you uh, uh, for those that don't know what we're about to do. I have screenshotted three days of the NFL grid. Right. So the, the way the NFL grid is, you have one category on one top of like a tic-tac-toe thing, and then you have categories on the left, and you have to make them match wherever they meet in that tic-tac-toe, right? So I'm going to let one of y'all go first, and we're going to play tic-tac-toe with the NFL grid. Oh, but really, are gonna take if, turns. If, if Nate and Bruce are both one, shouldn't they face one of the bad people first and then face each other? Shouldn't they get yeah. rewarded for... Yeah, we should get people, like we should be able to tramp treat somebody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kenny, who you want? Nate, Nate, or if that's if you that, that's fine. Either one's fine. I'm gonna lose either way. Let's go. That's okay, fine. so like, what's the topic that? We're Wait, are we rock paper scissors too? Uh, yeah. So that right. whoever wins can pick. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rock paper scissors. Shoot. Uh, MJ's full of shit. Nah. <laughs> I, yeah, lost. Yes, I lost. lost. No, I lost. Went, what do you What do you so, mean I'm full of it? I so, lost. So, uh, you just so. mad, dude. You're just going all <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Carter, what are we looking Kenny, at? Give me, we, just Nate, for give entertainment me, Kenny. value, Kenny, I'm going to take Bruce because I want I want to see this in action. Give me I'm Nate. I'm going to <laughs> pop up. Oh, wait, wait, give wait, me wait. Nate. Give me one second. I'll take I'll take. I'm about to clock in, lock in. All right, Nate, you're done. Excuse me? You're done. Let's go. Clock in, lock in. this NFL DB. Bring it on. I'm going to pop up the grid from past days, and I want y'all to kind of play tic-tac-toe with it. So, you know, right, there's go. a strategy with it. So, let's I'm going to pop Nate. it up now. You ready? Or Nate, who's going first? Nate or MJ? Oh, Nate can go first. Nate can go first. Okay, yeah. Nate. You ready? I'm going to pop Nate. it up. And now, wait, let me let me clarify the rule before we start. Ooh. Now, this oh, grid no. is you cannot have – you cannot have <laughs> players that have played on a practice squad. Or, okay. or for me, though, you can do this. But in the regular grid, you can't have players that were on a team that didn't play a game for that team. Okay. But because okay, I'm okay. going to do official reviews, and if it says they played for a team but doesn't play a snap, I'm going to count it. But practice squad does not count. Got okay. it. Okay. Okay. So, Nate, take your poison. Yikes. What, what are we doing? You're matching up, so you're gonna guess a player that played for the Browns and the Steelers, for example, and you're gonna put it right there. Oh, this is gonna be bad, Connor. This would look so much better if you presented. That had a thousand yard receiver. I know, but the thing with presenting my my screen was it didn't work last week, so I just didn't want no, to. No, present it as a file. Oh, can I do that? I think so. Oh wow, this is awesome. No, I can only present it as a video file. 
Oh, okay. All right, hold up. Okay, bye, Bruce. Okay, okay. go ahead. So, Let's Nate. <laughs> now, if, um, I mean, we can't spend all day, so I'm going to have to let MJ go eventually if you can't think of anything. But, you know, I see a couple things that could be applicable now. Now, think, think, I'll, 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 well, I don't want to give you any hints, but I told you that if they are on a team now, that would count in my book. That, but they haven't just got signed. Yet. Like, if they just got signed to a team this season, it would yeah, count. you just gave that one away, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe I did, but they <laughs> haven't seen it yet. I don't know. Okay, so, like, okay. Wait, but doesn't the thousand yard receiving have to be for the team? Yes, your thousand yard receiving has to be a player that got a thousand yards with that team. Now, we got could it. say, like, oh, well, I'm not going to say that player because I don't know if he okay. has a thousand all yards. Right, all, right, all right, so I can pick Amari Cooper. Anywhere, anywhere. Yes, next. yes. Amari Cooper. All right. For, for hey, Browns, a thousand yards. Yes. 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 All right, cool. Man, let me let me just make sure he got a thousand yards. That's probably what I was going to say. Yes, he got it. He got a thousand yards. Okay. Okay. All right, give me Jay Jetta's. Thousand yards for the Vikings. Okay. Um, I don't see no itches going on. All right. Thousand yard receiver. Patriots. Um, no. Nope. No. Nope. That's not how that works. How's it go? We got to go. You got to go with the heat, Nate. Bruce, there's a terrible echo now that you're on here. I got to do what? Huh? You got to give me where they meet. You can't do Patriots in 1,000 yards well, because they, they never meet in the tic-tac-toe. It's better now. Okay, so, so I got to go Browns. So you got to go like Browns, Patriots. Yeah. Browns, Patriots? Yes. Yeah. Well, so you'll have to do that one. Teams. That's the example. Yes. So, yeah, the, the Patriots right now, I can go. I can go somebody else now, right? Yeah, you can go anywhere besides Browns and Vikings at that. This is a terrible season. idea for a freaking game. Okay, so I, I, I can Patriot, <laughs> so I can pick a Patriot player. Hi, sweetie. A, a Patriot, Patriot player also that played, played for Browns. the Vikings. I don't <laughs> do you understand how this works. <laughs> you can only pick a player that has played for those teams where it's where they meet. Hold up, let me see if I can do this. So like, yeah. I can pick a Steeler. Okay. Oh, I got one. I got one. I, got one. I can pick played. one. For so I can pick Randy Moss. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yes. For which that one? For the, for the Patriots, Patriots the Vikings. Yes. Or Patriots Vikings. Um. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's a good pick. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that. Okay. Um. I think. You got. You're gonna have to get that Steelers Ravens unless um. Nate what? can't think of one. Because Nate's playing, we're playing tic-tac-toe. He just got the middle one. Oh. Okay. Yes, so. I didn't really, okay, that's what we're Unless doing. you don't think Nate can think of one, then take your chances. Steelers, Ravens. Interesting. Um... I don't know if I got that in my bag. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, I gave it to you earlier. You did. <laughs> Somebody that just signed. Who just signed with what? I don't. Oh, I think we're back in business, but I'm not gonna have a light. Oh. <laughs> First, what? Um. Whatever. Ravens. Yeah, just happened. What? What do I? Just what have I not MJ. seen? Just, just happened. happened. We we talked about it on the breakdown. That just shows you don't watch the breakdown. So okay. no, I probably didn't. Um, I'm okay. Let me let me just let me just play my game. Let me just if they gonna win, they gonna win. Just yeah. Oh, for, for the record, don't look at the comments. I mean, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, my I got I got full screen on right now. Um, okay, good, good, good. Give me thousand, thousand, thousand yard receiver for the Ravens. Give me Anquan. Ooh. Anquan be Bolden, baby. Is that his thousand yards receiving with Drake? 
Oh, he never had a thousand yard season with the Ravens. Dang. Okay, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Nate, give me the Ravens Steeler. Go ahead. Kind of hard to say this person because. Mm-hmm. No, Mike Wallace didn't have a that. You know what I mean? Did he? Mike Wallace? For Ravens 1,000 yard season? No. For what no. I'm trying to go. I don't know. No, I can't go. I can't go. Uh, I can't go. Mike Wallace. I, but I can go. Um, I can't go. Uh, Tory Smith. Tory Smith. Oh, nice. For thousand yard with the Raven. Let me make sure. Yeah, he got it. Nate, you okay. haven't won. You haven't got tic tac toe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand. I, I really don't. don't. Think he does either. I really. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Just keep, just keep calling out. So I might have a shot this week, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this, could be, this is bad. <laughs> Ravens a thousand yard receiver. No, I need to get the Ravens Steeler. But who, who is this person that just signed? Is it like really obvious? Mm-hmm. Well, if you paid attention to football, it is. Wow. <laughs> or or their rivalry because it's a huge rivalry, right? So anytime any. Oh, oh Patrick Queen. Is... Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't have got. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you, I, MJ. Like in our little bubble of NFC North, I wouldn't have thought of this. Wait, you said that's a Patrick Queen is a defensive player. So you can guess defensive players, Nate. You can guess, yeah. For the other parts of the grid, you can guess. Nate, Raven Steelers. The ball. So it doesn't have to be a thousand yard receiver for those two teams. It's just a player for those two teams. Oh, yeah, okay. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Okay. <laughs> he said, Jesus <laughs> finally. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. I'm I here. just gave away my advantage. Holy sh- <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, Nate. <clears throat> so Steelers and I had to find somebody for well, if you want to, if you want to win, if you want to win, go Steelers Browns. But if you can't think of Steelers Browns, then go somewhere else. That doesn't make him win. Yeah, because yes, he got does. The, uh, ooh, ooh, I got one. Raven. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. What name? Joe Hayden. Oh, oh no, I had that. Man. I had that too. It's correct. He's right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay, Nate won. Dang. Ran. Captain Slang that. <laughs> oh, so you don't. Okay. You can say Captain Slang that, but I can't say that Tiger Woods beefed up. Oh, that's like. Time one of out. Alter egos when I play for the Lions. Oh, I shouldn't even be saying that because I got people watching it. Um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Slang that? No, I don't. I, yo. Oh, no, you said it. You said it. Don't repeat it, though. Don't repeat it. You don't repeat that. You can't repeat it. <laughs> yep. All right. So you ready, Bruce and Kenny? I'm going to let um, Bruce get the first on this one since he's won. Kenny, you don't mind that. But I think you got a good shot. You ready? Kenny's like, screw it. Go ahead. Captain Insano. <laughs> Captain oh, Insano. wow. You gave them something easy. Like, wow. That's, that's that's why I did not have Nate go, go on this one. <laughs> I thought this was easier for him. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, wait. What is that? So I'm on my phone, so I'm like like old man styling this right now. I can't even see that shit. <laughs> well, I don't know how to make what? you see it. Any Wait, five thousand yard, uh, five five thousand yard rushers in a career for the yeah. Titans, Giants, and Bengals. Titans, Giants, and Bengals. Yes. And Raiders and Titans, though they played for the Raiders and Titans too. No, no, it's just a Titans five thousand yard rushing career. Oh, that's all right, Eddie George. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was my gimme. What the hell? <laughs> Damn it, Bruce. Sorry, <laughs> right, buddy. I got you. 
as a okay. Kenny? Uh, uh, Tiki Barber for the Giants 5,000 yards. Nice. Good, good, good. good. I, was, I, I was thinking that too. Let's go uh, for Bengals. Y'all are getting this fast. It's hard for me to edit all this. Don't worry, I'm about to slow down real quick. <laughs> Kenny, I couldn't find a good picture of you, so I took a picture while we were on the. Oh no! Because <laughs> your LinkedIn didn't have a picture, so <laughs> I went to your LinkedIn. There's one on the website, you dumb dumb. Oh, there is one on the website. That's b- buns. My bad. Am I still there? Are we still there? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. That goes so bad. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Why you gotta why you gotta do me like that? Dude, Connor, I'm gonna oh just wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna put like all right, just so you know, I'm really good at editing. I'm gonna make sure I get you and Tanner in a nice little picture, just so you know. <laughs> That's like the only picture I can find. Bruce, you need to fix one with Echo. What's up? The echo. You have to make four echo. Well, I mean, I didn't do anything. I haven't done anything. It's not like you're in a bathroom. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. What? Okay. Do I win He's by there. default then? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? I win. Uh, I, win. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Here, kind of take the picture off for a second. I'm gonna find a better way to do this. I couldn't share my screen. I'm sorry. It didn't work last week. I didn't want to take the chance. Why? Because it just didn't work. I don't know why. I guess it's because of my college Wi-Fi. I don't know. No, uh, what was you hiding? I was trying to show the tier list last week. Remember? Oh, okay. You sure it was only the tier list? It was only the tier mm-hmm. list. And then after the show, I was trying to share something else. You know. What was that? Something else, though. This. <laughs> hey, yep. Okay. Let's That's see. Ridiculous. I had a phone call. It's not my fault. Some my buddy tried calling me. Anyway, okay, Bruce. You ready? Can I put All it right. back up? Who we got? Who we got? There we go. Bengals. <laughs> uh, Corey Dillon. Say Corey Dillon. Corey Dillon. I don't even know who that is, but. <clears throat> oh, there's so many easy ones on this list. Okay. Uh, Kenny? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many easy ones on this list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like I'm being put on the spot. Um, well, you are. Yeah, you are. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. Connor, why couldn't you give me today's? Today is the final round. Bruh. Okay. Well, that's why I really uh I really uh would like Kenny to win this one, but it doesn't matter because there's a college in the next one. Wow, why oh, you gotta hate on why you gotta hate on me? I don't hate I'm not hating on you, Bruce. I don't know what those the pictures that you've been pulling of me of, of me lately. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Yeah, I don't I, I really I'm having a brain fart. I can't think of a single one right now. Well, just give a good guess. Give a good, educated guess. Don't just pass it to Bruce. He's trying. Um, come on, Kenny. He, he's I, just I left. He's, play, uh, he's playing. A, he's Kenny. He's playing for the Ravens right now. Where are we talking about, though? <laughs> 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 Patrick Queen, like that, that's all I had in the last. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I'll 
just throw out. Um, You'd be surprised. Where players all right. play. Texans, Giants. I'll just throw out Ron Dane, and I have that's not even going to be good. Ron Dane. Yeah. Texans, Giants. Oof. Oh my gosh! Yes, he did play for Texans and Giants. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> he and he's in prime protection. position now. Crap! <laughs> and he might win. <laughs> Kenny, you just need Giants Raiders. It's so easy. Giants Raiders. Giants Raiders. You can go. It's it's. You can go in two different directions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, there's another one, Nate. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, running backs? Is that 5,000 yards? No, 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 no. You're done with the 5,000 yard category. You're only doing teams now. So, oh, Texans, okay. Titans, just, Texans, oh, okay. Bengals. Played. Oh, Kerry Collins. For which one? Uh, for Giants, uh, Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> or just Darren Waller, but yeah. Well, whatever. That's what I thought it y'all were gonna go for. Too easy. All right, so then I gotta go either Texan Titan or Texan Bengal. Yeah. Dang, what if they get like a tie? Then they're screwed. Would it be uh Oh, this is going to be a bad guess. Jadavian Clowney for the Texans and the Titans. Ooh, good one, Kenny. I don't even have That's to look correct. that up. I don't even have to look that up. I know that one. Wait, so I don't think anybody can win now. Yes, they can. I think I can still get. He can still win. I can get and... Texans Bengals, I think, and then <laughs> after that, I think it's a draw. Can you update the board, Connor? I'm about to. I was too busy um, checking my thing. Checking your thing. Well, I was making sure. I knew Jadavian Clowney was uh, play for Titans. I just wanted to double check. I always check my work. So I was good man. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Bruce leaving <Okay>. again. Bruh. <laughs> so I win. <laughs> what is this man doing? You got another call? <laughs> what are we doing here? You know, I got this picture of Bruce. <laughs> Where? Off his Instagram when he was yapping about being at like the combine or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there Bruce. we go. Sorry. This guy keeps trying to call me right now. And it's like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm in the middle of a podcast and my phone keeps blo- like, I'm like, dude, chill. Solid. All right, Bruce, go. All right. What we got? Uh, Bengals, Texans. Yeah. Now you could go for the win here, like get the other two, or you could try to stop King. Personally, make it more interesting. I would try to go for the win. If you try to block Kenny, you just tie. No, you could still get the bottom mm. left corner. Oh, yeah, he could. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I do that. Uh, shit. Let's go. You know, let's go for the win. Uh, well, Titans. He gets- let's go Titans, no. Raiders. Titans, Raiders, Marcus Mariota. Bang. Ooh. Kenny, what you got? Okay. Don't laugh at me. I'm only guessing this oh. because he's played for like half the league at this point. 
for the Texans and the Bengals, would it be Ryan Fitzpatrick? Oh, no. Hey, I think he got it. Kenny. Oh, well played. Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I should have gone with the win. I should have just said screw it and blocked you. Bang. <laughs> I like it. Bang. Or just Joe Mixon. But bang. <laughs> well, okay. Well done. Kenny, one I trivia with, for the I first time at the well, No, he didn't win trivia. He still got to play Nate. He still got to play Nate. I, was gonna go I want a round. Palmer. I want a round. Go he won the round. Guys. He's got to play Nate in this one. Uh. All right. Oh. So okay. for the I saved it for last. old folks who don't understand, you can name Ravens Jaguars, Ravens Packers, a Ravens player, or uh, somebody who attended the University of Miami that at any point in their career played for the Ravens. Yeah, we got it. I y- y'all were making me concerned earlier, so I just wanted <laughs> to make sure. I I got it from the from the jump. I know what's going on. No, I'm more talking about <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Yeah, Nate, okay. I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> like I moved to the yeah. side. Yeah. I like yeah, he's like looking around the corner, too. <laughs> Why are you looking at each other? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, so who's going first? I go first, right? Me. Yeah. Put Kenny. <laughs> Kenny goes, me, me. Hey, hey, put Kenny. Hey, hey, put Kenny. Let Kenny go ball. first. Give him an advantage. That's his handicap. Oh, that's All right. Uh, Hurricanes, Ravens is Ray Lewis. Yay. Kenny got the layup. Connor, can we please put take MJ off there and put, uh, put Kenny in his spot? Oh, yeah. That makes way more sense. Kenny, <laughs> yeah. bob your head. To the <laughs> there you go. There's my guy. <laughs> Okay, Nate. Ah. Reggie Wayne. <laughs> nice. You. Oh. I didn't know Reggie Wayne went to Miami. Wow. That's why Nate played in the league and we didn't. He's from New Orleans. Didn't know that either. Wow, the Bulls suck. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. I'll get the picture, the updated picture of it. Just so. Yeah, we need, we need, like, what, what's going on with our producers here? Let's go. It takes me some time because I can't share my screen. Oh, fair. Sorry, it gives me extra time to think about how I'm going to screw this up. Yeah, and I'm going to make it. AKA, open up another window to cheat. <laughs> 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 I know a commander oh, a Miami player. Hold on. <laughs> it can be the Redskins too. Uh, so. Clinton Portis. Oh, okay. nice. Yup. Dude, I watched that national championship game where he took the helmet to the knee. Whoa. No, that wasn't Clinton Portis. That was uh that was Oh that was uh, Willis McGahey. That was yeah. Oh yeah, that was Willis McGahey. You said Clinton Portis? Yeah, Washington and Miami. How, how do you spell Clinton Portis? C L I N T. Clinton, like. Oh, Clinton. I thought you were saying Clinton. Oh. I heard it just fine, Kenny. Sorry. I was I was thinking Sean Taylor. So that's what I was going for. Got point. I just wanted to get another one on the board. That's Best tackle in uh, Pro Bowl history, right there, Sean Taylor. Yes, sir. Yeah, he killed my. Who was that? Who he hit? It's like a punter. I can't even remember his name. Yeah, it was a punter. Did he, what, who was the punter? Mm-mm. All right. Player for the Colts and the Jaguars. I think okay. I'm with Yannick and Gakwe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who I was. They, well, they was a big acquisition. Yeah, I think he got that easy. Jaguars, Colts, yeah. I, I'm personally, I would have gone with the Mississippi man himself, Gardner Minshew, but I mean, you know. Okay, Kenny. Uh, it's fine. You got time. The time I share this to my screen. 
You gonna put my picture up there? Make me feel real special? I am, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put your nice little NFL picture up there. Yeah, Oops. I'm handsome. So I gotta go Colts Packers to block, right? Yeah. Well, probably. Right, because you just got Colts. Colts Jaguars. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Now, if he misses that. If he misses it, I can get it, right? Come on, Kenny. Yeah. Come on, Kenny. Yeah. You know I'm this. Thinking, I'm thinking. In your mind, you know this. Come on, Kenny. Let's go. Kenny. Is there a chime pot? What are you eating over there, Nate? I got these right? chips. They're really good. Snacking on some stuff. Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause. No pause. What are we doing? I don't know. Someone, MJ says snacking. I don't know. Snacking on some stuff. I bet you are, MJ. Gobble, 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 MJ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got nothing. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Just, um, just say some words. <laughs> I'm hyping Kenny up in the his corner. Come on, come on, because I'm come on. I'm about to win. Come on. Well, I know you're gonna win. It's just I'm trying to stay competitive. I got two in there, anyways. Whatever. Um, Dwight Freeney. For the middle, but I know he was never a Packer, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to give you. you... Surprise. No, he was never a Packer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got somebody. I got somebody for the middle, Nate, to win it. Yeah. Who you got? Jeff Saturday. That's who I was thinking. Yeah. He yep. just lost an alignment. Oh, I hate that he was a Packer. Yeah. Yep. I blocked yep. it out of my mind. Because <laughs> remember, he, he switched eyes in the Pro Bowl to get Peyton yeah. Manning's last to, snap. To snap with Peyton Manning. Yeah. Play. Yeah. He bent over Peyton. Um, yeah. yeah. Time out. Yeah. yeah. Smack it up a little bit, rub it down. MJ, can we get the power bomb me um, overlay? <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast he got up for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, but you know what, though? Before we play the best one, you know what you need when you get power bombed? Good home on this insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we already did home, Bruce. Oh, we did? Ah, oh, yeah. fine. Car Good insurance. car insurance. Woo! Here's to the grown ups. Your car is now your office, stage, nursery. Shh. Sorry, Erie Insurance offers products that lots of other companies don't. That's a big deal, and it's a good deal, too. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent, not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person, like this. Your local Erie agent is Building Block Insurance Group. Get a quote today at 704-464-4544. Erie Insurance. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> so when you call <laughs> Jeff Fortepney at 704-464-4544, make sure to let him know that we need to get Bruce some more reliable internet um, that's as reliable as Jeff's car insurance. Are you playing the next ad? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, we were going to do a baseball tier list, but I think we ran out of time, unfortunately, so we can... Can we save it for uh, next week? Save it for next week. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to power bomb nobody. What is that? I don't want to power bomb nobody. All right. This is. Are you sure about that? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. sure. I, I'm. I'm completely sure. I don't want to power bomb nobody. I don't RKO somebody. You know. If you can RKO somebody. It's not. If I'm gonna do something to somebody, I'm gonna sweet chin music. Oh, <laughs> going with that little. I think I'm cute. I think I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> awesome. <laughs> that drives the girls wild. I got the moves that really move them. <laughs> I'm All just right. a sexy boy. Sexy, sexy boy. boy. 
I'm not your boy. Boy, 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 boy. Oh. What is <laughs> so that's okay, but okay. <laughs> it's Shawn Michaels and Jay. You wouldn't understand. No. If they showed it on TV, we can sing it on Third Down Thursdays. Yeah, you're right. All right. Oh. All right. Well, this has been a wonderful, <laughs> crazy edition of Third Down Thursdays. Bruce said before the show, we're winging it. We winged it. It worked. We love you all. We will see you next Thursday. Make sure to tune in in two weeks for the special NFL draft episode. Let's go. Radio Row, baby. Guy and Jackson will be live with some special guests from Radio Row in Detroit. So make sure to tune in for that. We will be back next week. But now you see the best insurance commercial in the business. Run it. Hey, Bruce. And, hey, how come it's called winged it? Why is it called like wanged it? <laughs> hey, I we wanged that thing, baby. <laughs>